What's up, Clown Nation? Diecast Clown here. A little diecast by the bay. Best time of the year to be down at the beach. There ain't nobody here. There is nobody here. Absolutely love it. Um, got a wide variety of stuff today. Everything from uh, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, green light and new to me uh first two castings that i ever bought in uh you know 64 so uh, we'll get to that here shortly first things first i don't buy too many uh five packs um there's actually only two five packs currently out there that i want and stopped in the target last night on my way down and happened to find the only two five packs that i wanted um first one up is the Mustang five pack um, with the 1962 Ford Mustang Coupe, a 1992 Ford Mustang, the 2015 Ford Mustang GT convertible, a 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302, and a 1971 Mustang Mach 1. That's the Mach 1, the 69, 2016, this one's nice, I like that. I myself had a couple of Mustangs in my lifetime, uh, enjoyed every one of them. I had an 87, uh, a 1990, and a 97, the 90 being the or 87 and the 1990 were both uh, box body style which was my favorite uh moving on next up the only other five pack that i wanted right now currently is the night burners um which has the uh, alpha pursuit an 89 mazda savannah rx7 a 1998 honda prelude a dotson 620 and then the mclaren speed tail I could do without that police alpha pursuit thing. But uh, I do like that Mazda RX-7 and the Prelude. The 620 is okay. Um, not a fan of the speed tail, but uh, I did want this five pack. I guess we'll uh, just stay with Hot Wheels. Um, up next, they had every one of this uh, team transport um, number 41 42 and 43 um, the one I missed out on but um, for whatever reason I just didn't pick up number 42 which is the Lancia Stratus group S or group 5 rather and the secure sprinter I just I mean at 15 bucks a pop kind of held off but um first one is the porsche 917 lh in the golf livery with the fleet flyer i am a fan of this one sure hope you guys can see it's sunny out here i can't see my camera so hopefully this video turns out but uh, this one was done nice. Anything in the golf livery, I do like and appreciate, so. Um, up next, the AMC Rebel number 43 and the wide open. The Rebel machine does look nice. The red, white, and blue. I do like it. Um, I don't know, eventually I'm gonna try and grab the um, Lancia Stratus. I, 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 hindsight, I should have grabbed it because I am a collector and I do call myself or consider myself somewhat of a completionist, so I will eventually grab it. It's just spent a lot of money on die cast and I really shouldn't. But uh, <laughs> that's the collector in me. Up next, I was thrilled to finally come across the two-pack Hot Wheels premium sets. However, 
um, I wasn't able to get the one that I had desired the most, which is the car and kit Night Rider. But um, I'll show you first the Lancia Rally, Rally 037 and the 84 Audi Quattro. Sport Quattro, whatever, doesn't matter. But uh, these look nice. I like the card art on these. Like I said, this Knight Rider one is the one I really wanted. Um, I actually didn't expect to ever come across this, but uh, it seemed like somebody hit it, the Nissan Fairlady Z and the Nissan Z Proto, um, and I found their hiding spot. So I took it. That Fair Lady Z is nicely done. Um, I guess the Z Proto, it's okay. It's nothing to write home about. But that uh, Fair Lady Z is done tastefully. With the G Ready, or Greddy, however you want to pronounce it. Livery on it. Yeah, I really didn't expect to find these. Uh, actually, when I first saw them in the aisle, um, I was excited mostly for the, the kit and car, but uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to come across them. Um, I do have some Matchbox in here as well, guys. Uh, I came across the Morris Mini Treasure Hunt in the Compact King series. I do like to collect the treasure hunts. I'm not a fan of the supers, everybody knows that. But um, oddly enough, I had come across this early on and didn't even realize that it was a treasure hunt at the time. And I was like, ah, oh, no. Didn't think I'd ever find it again. And. Um, Came across this at a Dollar General. Uh, up next, the Hot Wheels, uh, the tuned '83 Chevy Silverado in the red variation. Earlier re released in the blue, baby blue, whatever sky blue, whatever you want to call it. I think the red looks better. It's my opinion. Next, a color variation of the Hummer EV. Uh, we've seen it before in yellow, and now we have it here in orange, or kind of like a sunlit copper, or we'll just call it orange. Let's not try and be fancy. It's nicely done. I hope you guys can see this. I can't even see my my camera. So up next, um, came across the supercharged. I uh, wanted a couple of these, mostly to send to friends, but um, oddly enough, this was the only one they had. So I took it, and I'll be keeping it for myself. Not something I would normally collect. Uh, this is out of the Hot Wheels drag strip series, but uh, I like this. I do like it. And up next, I was able to grab the 69 Chevy Camaro convertible. Uh, black, we've all seen this before. Um, the reason I don't like this casting is the window. It's just not proportioned correctly in my opinion, but uh, I am a collector, so I had to add it to my collection. Up next, uh, the 1971 Lamborghini Miura. 
Do I even have to say it, guys? If it was the Super, it would have went right there in the bay. But uh, this is nicely done. I do appreciate this. Um, about a year or two ago, they had made this livery, or this casting, sorry, in the... Um, oh, gosh, it's escaping my memory. Oh, forget it. I can't, I can't think of it. What it's called. They stopped making them, but at any rate. Up next, I got the... 2018 Camaro SS out of the then and now series in green. Nicely done. I think it was the ID uh, variation. It's too early here in the morning, and I haven't had my coffee. I think it was the IDs. Um, they would put random ones in cases, but they also sold them in um, like a cardboard box type. I don't know. Maybe I'll just stop talking. <laughs> uh, up next, I got the 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. Another one out of the Hot Wheels drag strip series. Nicely done. Mopar livery on there, but uh, no headlights or tail lights. Um, this one to me screams for a custom. To be done to it. Yeah, I believe. Sorry to take a step back again but they were IDs and I had come across the one in the box not the carded ID one and uh, I regretted not picking it up and I actually went back to Target later that night to pick it up and it was gone so my mother used to have this uh, phrase that she lived by it was see it like it buy it <laughs> Up next, I picked up another one of the 69 Dodge Charger 500s. Everybody's seen this before. Actually, I think everybody's seen everything that I'm presenting today. But at any rate, it's all new to me. Um, last but not least, out of the Hot Wheels, I grabbed, finally, the 1970 Chevelle SS Wagon in red. I had been hoping to come across this one we've seen it before released earlier in blue and now in the red and unfortunately this was the only one they had um, picked up a few matchbox I uh, usually don't do this but uh, grabbed two from the Jurassic World uh, first is the 1993 Jeep Wrangler nicely done and the only other one I picked up out of that series they had all of them but not interested in the rest of them the 1993 Ford Explorer um, I do believe I've seen on somebody else's video they have one of these that's um, kind of crushed and damaged if you will but um, I don't know where they got that Uh, saw this and thought I had to add it to my collection put it with my movie cars um, up next I grabbed um, two green lights this week first I'll show you the 2022 Chevy Tahoe RST out of the showroom series one I'll call that maroon in color the card art on these is uh, really nice. I do like that. Showroom Floor Series 1. And 
And the only other one I picked up from Greenlight this week was the 2022 Ford Explorer ST. And kind of your, uh, I've, I have a couple of them. This is a plain Jane, I'll call it, if you will. I have a couple that are done in uh, police livery, but um, this is something that you would see at every soccer field, every mom <laughs> has a Ford Explorer. Another one out of the showrooms, floor series, number one, green light. Um, up next, new to me, I have never before picked up any Inno 64s, but uh, I saw these two and had to have them. Um, first is the Nissan Fairlady Z S30, and it's somewhat of a chameleon car, if you will. It's kind of purple and if you move it in a different direction, it changes colors. Uh, first, like I said, the first uh, Inno 64s that I picked up, uh, they seem somewhat smaller to me than a 1 to 64 scale, but uh, nicely done, nicely done. I do like the way they are presented, and uh, I can't. I, just looking at it the way the sun's catching it, it almost looks like a blue if you hold it one angle you turn it another way it's purple but uh that is nice i do like the packaging and last but not least um picked up another nissan fair lady z the z32 um same color scheme Back when I was in high school, a friend of mine, he had one of these. It was brand new. His parents bought it for him. He actually said he's wish wish he kept that car. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if you guys can see the way it's changing colors. That's why I called it somewhat of a chameleon, <laughs> if you will. But uh, I picked these two fair ladies up from uh, SC Diecast. So that's all I got for you guys this week. Um, sorry about the confusion I had with the Lamborghini Mira and they were the IDs. The ID chases were the ones that came carded in cases. I don't know if you were lucky enough to get one. Um, but they also sold them in, I think it was like a cardboard box, if you will. They always had them at Target. Um, but yeah, I do apologize for that. It's early in the morning and um, I haven't had coffee, so please forgive me. But I'm uh, just gonna give you guys a quick look around here. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. Ain't nobody here. island today and this is what I did enjoy <laughs> like I said I usually come here every Saturday morning just to drink my coffee see what the tides like relax reflect on the week and just Think about everything that I'm grateful for. You know, time is short if you really think about it. So peaceful. There's not a soul down here this weekend. It's the best.